The following program is sponsored by Friends of Life Outreach International. On this special episode of Life Today. This is a very important program to me. It's something that I've been looking forward to because I believe that when you see the need and how simply we can meet this need, I believe that every single one of us is going to do something. Oh, no, I know, I know, I know. I couldn't bear it if I didn't know that we have the answer. Those who cry out to God and say, God, where are you? And God says, I have people on this earth to alleviate your pain. We are those people. Next on Life Today. I am so glad you're watching today. I think you're watching for a reason. I'm Randy Robinson. This is Sheila Walsh. And we're always glad to have you on Life Today. You know, Christmas is coming. And this Christmas can be incredibly special. Not just special because someone gets a gift, but special because we have a simple yet profound way that you can partner with us to change a life, possibly even save a life. You know, Sheila, you and I have been around the world and we have seen the beauty of these right here, a simple gift of shoes and what it does. And you know, it, 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 it makes me feel good to do it, but it's so much more than that. It's, it's, it's life altering. Yeah, here's what I really want you to know. I, on my very first trip, I saw the impact that malnutrition has on children. Mm. It was devastating yeah. to watch. And subsequent trips, I've been where there's no clean water in a village and children are dying every single day. But one of the things I began to notice, no matter where I went with our outreach, was that none of these children had shoes on. And that might seem like a simple thing. Why would that be so important? But what I would go on to learn is that if children don't have a simple pair of shoes to wear, it literally can hamper and even cost them their lives. Mm. And that's why this is a very important program to me. It's something that I've been looking forward to because I believe that when you see the need mm -hmm. and how simply we can meet this need, I believe that every single one of us is going to do something. Absolutely. And you know, the big, the big thing with, with uh, the not having shoes is that the children will get hookworm. That's, that's the predominant thing. And hookworm, it's one of those things that might, might cause death, but it, it always compromises the system of the child, the, the immune system specifically. And so, you know, when, when we're, we're out there battling the, the dirty water or the malnutrition, when you get the hookworm in there and the compromised immune system, it, it compounds. And so suddenly, malnutrition becomes that much worse or uh, a waterborne disease becomes that much worse. And so we realized, you're right, Sheila, we, we saw this and we, we thought, okay, is this really something that needs to be addressed? And we realized, yeah, from a health standpoint, it's definitely something that needs to be addressed. And that's why the Christmas Shoes and Smiles is such a, a wonderful thing to do. And we wanna show you just a little bit of, of, of how devastating this can be. And then we wanna show you how you can be a part of saving lives. Watch this. The sounds of children running and playing and having a good time often give way to sounds of pain and suffering because they have never had a pair of shoes to protect their feet. It's okay. What, is he saying something? He says it's pain. It's pain? Yeah, it's pain. It's pain. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm in a village in Angola and came upon this child. This little boy's Augusto, and this breaks my heart. His little feet are in some of the worst shape I've ever seen. And there were many in this village with horrible conditions on their feet. As our mission teams travel throughout the world, they see the unsanitary conditions that children like Augusto must cope with. 
conditions that can lead to a lifetime of misery simply because their feet are not protected. They're completely infected. He said there's insects that have gotten into his feet. I, I'll be surprised if he doesn't lose his toe. The disease comes in through their feet. It just goes throughout their body. It can actually kill them. Augusto's condition is not unique. Thousands of children suffer every day from painful injuries or infestations such as hookworms that enter their bare feet. This can lead to diseases that cause chronic blood loss that leads to anemia, malnutrition, and sometimes even death. Please do what you can. Help bring shoes to little children like Augusto all over the world. You can be a part of something big and something even fun, but this is the reason we do it. Can you imagine that something as simple as a pair of shoes could save a child's life? You know, Christmas is approaching. You might be asking, well, you're coming to us a little early, but that's because we want to be able to get the shoes to the children in time for Christmas. We can do it in such an amazing way. Do you know that for $3.60, we can send a pair of shoes like this to children who are in need. So this is a, an appeal that I feel so excited about because every single one of us can do something. I mean, it's a, Christmas can be a time where we just get self-indulgent. Mm -hmm. You know, this has been a hard year, but wouldn't it be amazing to turn the tables this year and make it end with one of the most beautiful outreaches of love to children and all they're asking for is a simple pair of shoes. And Sheila, you know it's called shoes and smiles. And when we give the shoes, we certainly put a smile on a child's face. But there's more that we do. We also, during this time, address a very real need that directly impacts the child, a child's ability to smile, and that's with cleft lip and, and cleft palate. This is an issue that directly impacts the health because a child can't properly swallow or eat, depending on the severity of it. So part of the Christmas Shoes and Smiles is to go in with a corrective surgery. And you know, when you, when you see some of the before and after of the corrective surgery and that, the smile that's literally on a child's face because they now can smile in a way they never could before, Boy, that just, that just warms my heart, Sheila. I, I, this is just such a, a, a wonderful thing that, that we can do, that we can partner with everyone watching to do that has just lifelong ramifications. I know, because so often in so many of the countries, if a child is born with a cleft palate or cleft lip, it's almost seen as if that child is cursed. Mm -hmm. they are, they're sidelined, they're, they're not allowed to join in. And can you imagine the heartache on the face of a mom or a dad the first time they get to look at their little one? I remember when my son was born, the first thing that Barry said was, he's got 10 toes and 10 fingers. Mm -hmm. You want to hold that little baby and just believe the best for them. But here's the amazing thing. The doctors that we work with on the ground have offered to do this, a whole corrective surgery for $500. I have no idea what that would cost here in the States. But for $500, they can put a smile back on the face of a little one, of their mother, of their father, of their family, of their village. What a way to show the love of Christ in a practical, tangible way by putting a smile on a little one's face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Sheila, you know, you mentioned that this has been a difficult year for a lot of people, and, and certainly it has been, we understand that. I would just ask that as you watch these images in just a minute, you will just take a moment and say, Lord, what would you have me do? Because the reality is we can all do something, and some of us can do more than others, and if you can do a lot, I would ask that you step up and you do just as much as you can. But if you can do a little, let me tell you, that little is a lot. As Sheila mentioned, $3.60 is the average cost for a pair of shoes to get that to a child that needs it. We can all give a pair of shoes. $36 would give 10 pairs of shoes. And then the corrective surgeries, now those are more expensive, $500 on average for a corrective surgery. 
here's all I ask. You just pause. You, you, you watch these faces and you say, Lord, enable me to do something for your glory. Ask how you can help partner with us to give shoes and smiles. Watch this. But I love you. For a child living in poverty in a developing country, their smile may be the most valuable thing they own. But imagine if that child was born without a big, beautiful smile. People told me not to dream, to live in their reality. But I am walking through those doors. Cause I am sure there's something more than what I've been told. More than a decade ago, Life Outreach started an annual mission campaign called Christmas Shoes and Smiles. In addition to providing over two million children with a new pair of shoes, Life and its mission partners have also changed the lives of over 2,000 children born with a cleft lip or cleft palate by providing the surgery needed to give them their very own brand new smile. A big thank you to the Life Outreach family it's a privilege to serve with you as we share the gospel of Christ and as we provide life-changing surgeries in our part of the world. Our partnership has resulted in children's lives being transformed from disfigured faces to faces beaming with smiles, all because of your generosity in providing these surgeries. I can't tell you how much joy it brings me to see those smiles. And you saw our mission partner, Tony, there on the ground. We have people in place. What we need are people just like you to partner with us. Go to the phones, go online, give the best gift you can because this Christmas, you can truly put a smile on a child's face. So this is something that no matter who you are, what resources you have, we can all do something. Can you imagine $36 would provide shoes for 10 mm. children? And the joy, I mean, I've been there. I've put the first pair of shoes on a little one's feet and it turns, literally turns their morning into dancing. They go from not being able to walk to being able to dance around. Wouldn't it be so much more special this Christmas as you and I sit around with our families and reflect on God's love and faithfulness through the year, but knowing that in Jesus' name, we have reached out, put a smile back on faces where their smile was impossible and literally put shoes on the feet of little ones. I just think what a great, a great joy. You know, there's some of the appeals where I think this is such a, a heartache, this is such a joy. Mm -hmm. This is Operation Christmas Shoes and Smiles. And together, we can all do this. I mean, I'm excited. Oh, my goodness. You know, it's interesting. That last piece we saw ended with my name is and, and had the little child's name there. And it reminds me because at Christmas, you know, you go and you write on the presence, you know, whose this is. And when I was a child, I'm sure with Sheila, with you too, you always go to the Christmas tree and you say, oh, where's my name? Mm -hmm. When I look out at these children, it's sometimes you see just children everywhere, but God knows their names, every single one of them. And I just want to step up and say, as an ambassador for our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, your name is on a pair of shoes, or if you need it, your name is on your lips. It's on that surgery. It's on that corrective surgery. Let's put their names on so many pairs of shoes that, that there's not a child that doesn't have a pair of shoes this year. This can be special, like, like Sheila says. This could be the most special year ever for so many children. It depends on one thing. 
how many of you will partner with us? We want Sheila and I, Sheila, I know it's in your heart. We would give shoes to every child in the entire world over and over and over again. Absolutely. <laughs> but it really depends on, on how many of you join with us. $36 for 10 pairs of shoes, uh, you know, $500 for the surgery, $180 will give 50 pairs of shoes. Whatever it is you can do, I just ask that you do it. And and do it now. Yeah, do it now. You Took know the what words out of my see, mouth. <laughs> what I want to say is Christianity is not a spectator sport. We get to dive in and make a difference. So let's, let's do that. Let's determine that this year, I know it's been hard. I know there's been suffering, but Christ has been with us. He's been faithful. So let's determine mm. that we are going to be a city set on a hill. We're going to send lights around the world. So go to your phone. Please go to your phone right now. Call that number. Make the very best gift possible. It's going to be a life-changing end to an unusual year. Mm, we're excited about it, and we're excited about you partnering with us. Poverty is a killer. And because of it, children needlessly suffer, not only from a lack of food and clean water, but also from a lack of things we often take for granted, like a simple pair of shoes. Far too many children living in extreme poverty have never owned a new pair of shoes. And while that may seem minor in light of all their needs, walking with bare feet puts them at risk of life-threatening infections and disease that could lead to crippling consequences and even death. By responding today, you will help secure and make ready 150,000 Christmas shoes to be shipped and delivered to children around the world just in time for the holidays. Your gift of $36 will help provide 10 pairs of shoes. A gift of $72 will provide 20 pair. And a gift of $180 will help provide 50 pairs of Christmas shoes for children in need. As a thank you for your gift of support, be sure to request this beautifully crafted green crystal shoe ornament, a treasure to display each Christmas. With your gift of $100 or more, you may also request this keepsake boxed set of all four shoe ornaments, celebrating the various outreaches of life. Finally, please consider a gift of $1,000 or more to help provide over 275 pairs of shoes or two children with corrective cleft lip or palate surgeries, and you may request the beautiful Divine Servant Bronze Sculpture. Please call, write, or make your gift online today. We're approaching the time of the year when Life Outreach does its Christmas Shoes and Smiles campaign. The smiles are for corrective surgery, but what we're doing today is we're giving these young boys and young girls shoes for the very first time. You can actually see the importance of what we're doing because look at this little girl, Veronica. She's got these sores on her feet already. She's obviously never owned a pair of shoes. She's been walking around bare feet. Maybe they just tough it out and they play. But we found out right here in this area that hookworms get in the skin, get in the bloodstream, ultimately into the intestines, and cause very serious disease and sometimes death. And we can turn it around by just simply giving them shoes. <laughs> Something as simple as a pair of shoes can really change a child's life. This is a happy place today. <laughs> Look at this face. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to give her a gift for Christmas? <laughs> so thank you so much. On behalf of her family, those who love her, <laughs> I think you put the biggest smile on her face that we've seen all day. So thank you. Thank you for the gift of shoes. Thank you for the gift of life. You go run around. <laughs> you know, in so many of the villages that we go into with our missions, we see tears. We see quiet children, but I have to tell you, when we go in there with the gift of Christmas shoes, we hear laughter. And I, I wanted to just share with you something that I've been doing this year. You know, it's been a year that's been financially challenged for, for most of us. So what I decided to do, knowing that this campaign was coming up, was I went into my closet and I looked at all the shoes I had, and I thought, this is ridiculous. I have way more shoes than I can possibly wear. So I picked out three or four pairs that were in really pretty good condition, and I went to one of those sites where you take a photo of it and then, you know, you sell it. And just by selling these three or four pairs of my shoes that I hardly ever wear, it was enough to provide 20 pairs of shoes for children this Christmas. So 
think of creative ways. We don't have to be bound by what we think we have in our checkbook. There's all sorts of ways that you and I can step up and make a difference, have a bake sale. I mean, I want to challenge you as Sunday school classes and extended families. Let's let's do this together this year. I mean, don't you think that'd be exciting, Randy? I think there's all sorts of things we can do. And with the internet, people have found out, oh, there are creative ways to communicate online. And so, you know, we can do online campaigns. There's just, there's just whatever God puts on your heart is the bottom line. Go out and do it because this, the shoes and the smiles, both the smiles from having shoes and the smiles from having corrective surgery, it's just a wonderful thing. And you know, Sheila, there, there are many things that we do, like you said, that are, that are difficult, that are hard. It's hard to watch the, the, the pictures of children's feet that are infected. It's hard to see them cry. I couldn't bear it if I didn't know that we have the answer, that we are the answer to their prayer. Those who cry out to God and say, God, where are you? And God says, I have people on this earth to alleviate your pain. We are those people. So we celebrate the birth of a savior. We celebrate the idea of giving. We celebrate the joy of smiling, but we only do it when we take up that role as Christ's ambassadors that he put us on this earth to be, and we fulfill it. And this year, we're asking you to do it with us through Christmas shoes and smiles. And you know, I think it's interesting. I was reading through um, Ephesians 6 again, and it talks about um, putting on the shoes of the gospel of peace. Mm -hmm. You know, there's something about when we go into a village, and I mean, these are amazing little shoes. We get them made for $3.60. So for 10 pairs, $36, very doable. Mm -hmm. There's something about when you care for the immediate physical needs of a child in a village, that to me, we've earned the right to share the news of Jesus Christ, that we don't come here just on our own. First of all, you know, if it's a hungry child, we're gonna feed you. If you need clean water, we're gonna bring you clean water. If you have nothing in your feet, we're gonna give you shoes. And then we're gonna tell you about the Jesus who sent us. Make your best gift possible. Poverty is a killer. And because of it, children needlessly suffer, not only from a lack of food and clean water, but also from a lack of things we often take for granted like a simple pair of shoes. Far too many children living in extreme poverty have never owned a new pair of shoes. And while that may seem minor in light of all their needs, walking with bare feet puts them at risk of life-threatening infections and disease that could lead to crippling consequences and even death. By responding today, you will help secure and make ready 150,000 Christmas shoes to be shipped and delivered to children around the world just in time for the holidays. Your gift of $36 will help provide 10 pairs of shoes. A gift of $72 will provide 20 pair. And a gift of $180 will help provide 50 pairs of Christmas shoes for children in need. As a thank you for your gift of support, be sure to request this beautifully crafted green crystal shoe ornament, a treasure to display each Christmas. With your gift of $100 or more, you may also request this keepsake boxed set of all four shoe ornaments, celebrating the various outreaches of life. Finally, please consider a gift of $1,000 or more to help provide over 275 pairs of shoes or two children with corrective cleft lip or palate surgeries, and you may request the beautiful Divine Servant Bronze Sculpture. Please call, write, or make your gift online today. It's a great day when you can give until the least of these. I've hung out in this village all afternoon and I could not wait for this moment to be honest with you, but I've had a chance to play with the children. We've hung out and I've played at their playground with them, but you would not imagine what playground they play on. It was filled with broken glass, um, broken tin cans, all kinds of debris, trash, animals everywhere, uh, fecal matter everywhere. And I'm watching the kids play in this stuff. It was just awful. We would never allow our children to play in an atmosphere like that, but it's all they have in this village. And they were the happiest children I'd ever seen. And yet, even in that moment, we witnessed before our very own eyes a little boy stepping into something and cut his foot. And the reason why is because you'll look around and you see that most of these kids don't even have shoes. Not 
hardly one of them. And if they do, they're broken apart and falling apart, and it's just not a good scene. So let's do something special at this time of year. It's not just about a pretty pair of shoes. It's so much more than that. It's really about the quality of life. And something so simple as putting on a brand new pair of shoes on their feet that will protect their feet, whether it's infection, cuts, hookworm, whatever it is, it's gonna protect their life. It's so simple. Let's do it. Let's make a difference. One child at a time. They're a perfect fit. Mm. Oh. Many people don't realise the impact that a cleft lip and cleft palate can have on a young child and the family. With the cleft palate, they will not be able to breastfeed, and that can cause real problems for nutrition, and it can also cause them to have uh, more commonly uh, have chest infections, and, and that can even lead to death. But if the child survives as they grow, they will then start to realise that they have this cleft palate, and they will really suffer psychologically. Thanks to partners like Life Outreach International, we're able to make lasting changes in children's lives through corrective surgery. Several children that we've operated on their lips and their palates, and the children are healthy, they look normal. There's so much more work to be done, literally thousands of families waiting for help. But we can only do it with your continuing support. God bless you. Now you might be thinking, it's a little early to be singing Holly Jolly Christmas, but let me tell you why. We want to be able to get the shoes. We made a commitment, 150,000 pairs of shoes. We want to get them to the children by Christmas. And for any gift at all, we'll send you, this is our shoe this year. It's a beautiful crystal. So for any gift at all, we will be sending you your own little shoe to remind you to pray for these children. Absolutely. And you know what? I have confidence that this is going to be a great Christmas for so many children because you simply go online, pick up the phone, make a gift, large, small. It's, it's all big when it's in obedience to God. Let's make this Christmas the best Christmas ever for so many children. As we reach out in the name of Jesus on Christmas with shoes and smiles. Oh, it's so exciting. Thank you so much for staying with us. And let's make this the very best Christmas ever, not just for us, but for a lot of children we might not meet till we're finally home. Life Today is made possible by the supporters of Life Outreach International. Your gift will be used exclusively for the exempt purposes of life. The ministry features specific outreaches as examples of the programs it supports and conducts. Gifts are considered to be without restriction as to use unless explicitly stipulated by the donor. The ministry is a member of the ECFA.